Hi guys, welcome to the session Move the Site. So you might have heard a lot of news on AI, writing stories, poems, commenting on economics, writing scripts, etc. Have you ever wondered how it works? You might have also heard the, of AI becoming too dangerous uh, because of its creative quotient. Is it really dangerous? Well, that's a topic for debate, but in this session, we will be something, seeing something very close to the context. Hopefully, we will touch the very basics of such a model by OpenAI. Uh, please don't expect too much from the session, because as I told, it's basics of basics. So let's move on. How to use GPT-2 by OpenAI. So what is GPT-2? It's a successor of uh, GPT. Uh, GPT-2 is a large transformer based language model with over 1.5 billion parameters trained on a data set of 8 million web pages. So this is trained with a simple objective predict the next word given all the previous words within some text. For example uh, if the test is what is your then the next word should be name so based on the previous word the next word should be predicted so we can use this for various NLP tasks such as text generation, language generation uh, building question answers, sessions, writing stories or even creating a script and the list goes on so how it works it's a very simple form of reinforcement learning it checks the previous word to predict the new word so next time we can also make sure that uh, the new word is predicted based on the data we learned from the previous time and as always uh, open ai has made it available to us for free so let's see how we can use this to complete a story so the first requirement is to uh, download the code and the model from git so as i told open ai has made it available for us to free so you can see two screens here the first one is uh, git bash and the second one is anaconda prompt so now let's go back to uh, the github link where you can see the uh, gpt model gpt2 by open ai now let's clone it or local machine so to clone it you can just click on here copy the thing drag and drop the git bash so I'm copying it to this location or I'm cloning it to this location git init initializing the git and then git clone whatever I have copied copy worked Git clone. So this will copy all the um, codes here to the git run. So uh, before using it, you can go through the license and uh, you can also see the instructions in readme file and install all the parameters shown in the requirement.txt. So I have already copied this in. Uh, another location so we have uh, stored the GPT data here we have all the files now let's the first step is to install all the parameters and requirements.txt uh, for the modules all the Python modules and requirement.txt so to do that we can do pip install minus r requirement.txt ignore install so this will install all the python modules that is required for the project to work so you need an active internet connection for this so i do have all the modules which is uh, install so I'll just skip the step for now so it's already there 
so the next step is to uh, download the pre-trained model from internet so to download the same so this is uh, I, I also have orange installed in this so these are uh, warnings related to orange we can uh, ignore this for now I'm just cancelling this so as the next step we can uh, download the pre-trained model for that we can go to source so you can find something called uh, inside source downloadmodel.py so open here has given three pre-trained models for us we have 124 million parameter model 355 million parameter model and 774 million parameter model so we can download any one of those so to download the same we can do python download model 124m so this will download the model in this part so i already have you can see that i already downloaded the model here so we can navigate to the model and you can see i have downloaded all three models so if i go to 124m i can see the uh, index meta and other relevant items for that model pre-trained model so once we have uh, we are done with pre-trained model we can uh, go to the source and we have uh, we already have a sample uh, python file available inside that so let's open that so this is an interactive uh, sampling code which is provided by a open ai for testing so what this will do is this will prompt for a test and it will try to complete the story for example if i give uh, my name is movit and i like and after that whatever it is it will fill it up from the uh, text whatever it has learned from the PTA model so we have a couple of parameters here let's go through this so a model name so uh, whatever model type so we have three model cards here 124 million 355 and 774 so whatever model name we are using uh, seed seed is nothing but the integer for random uh, random sample generation uh, number of samples to be output like uh, we only need one sample the batch size uh, length length is nothing but the number of tokens in the generated test if it is none then it will automatically it is automatically determined by the model of parameters uh, the temperature temperature is a fold value uh, which uh, con controls the randomness uh, basically in the simple distribution uh, top underscore k and top underscore p are nothing but the uh, integer value and float value controlling the diversity so this determines how many words should be checked to predict the new word so if it is 40 then 40 words will be checked to predict the new word and uh, then we have model directory where uh, we have downloaded the model so once we have uh, everything up so we need to change this one and this one and all these parameters so once that is done we can try to run this model from python so for this demo we have made a slight change what we have did is we have used a tk enter or uh, tk inter module to uh, prompt for the prompt and again uh, the message box to display the uh, output so let's run this so we are again going to the python prompt demo tk inter so let's wait for some time to uh, load so these are nothing but the warnings because of the uh, deprecated version of numpy and you can see that uh, we've got a prompt let's write some statement i was happy today and decided to meet few friends let's see how ai completes this statement to a story so once i plus complete you can see that it's uh, running the model and it should finish the story let's wait for some time till it uh, completes the story so as you can see the machine has completed the story it's telling i was happy today and decided to meet few friends of mine throughout the years and considered some amazing things for the beer here in 
yellow for well. A big thank you to the brewers, guests, and government and hospitalists that I that knew me on many levels and blah 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 blah. So it completed the whole uh, sentence. It's it's a huge. It has written a huge sentence on to complete the story. Now, if I am not happy with that, I can make one more random prediction. So I just click OK on this message box and it will again reiterate uh, and come up with another story. Let's see what it comes up with. Let's wait for a few more seconds. So there is another story that AI came with. Uh, it shows I went to a boat, uh, something happened there and it goes on. So this is an example on how AI can create stories by itself. So I was also having a doubt that okay, these sentences might be copy paste from some article in Google. So I tried uh, searching this sentence in Google and I was disappointed. I didn't found any articles with same wording. So this actually is created by machine. You can also try it out. And if you even don't want to type this sentence, what you can do is there is uh, one more file so let's uh, go with that I'm closing this so there is one more file inside uh, same folder called generate unconditional sample which will uh, generate some random samples for you you can see what it generates now so as you can see that the machine started writing its own stories so this will go on so let's stop it up so um, I hope you like the session so just uh, we can uh, recap on the things we checked in the session so the first thing you have to do is to clone or download the git repo gpt2 by openai once that is done, verify the license and other prerequisites. Python 3.7 is must. Go through the README file. Install all modules from requirement.txt. pip install minus r requirement.txt would be the command that will uh, help you in achieving this. Uh, download the pre trained model from OpenAI. So, this is the command for that. So, you can change this by uh, 124 or 355 or uh, the next model I think it is 774 edit the parameters inside interactive uh, conditional sample so mainly model name and model path uh, replace the model name with whatever you are downloading and uh, replace the path with, uh, uh, with the download path and you can run the interactive uh, conditional sample.py which will prompt and you can use tk enter if you want a jassy uh, use prompt and message box like we show, uh, show in this demo subscribe uh, this channel for more similar videos thanks for watching the video have a nice day bye